Tesla billionaire Elon Musk is scheduled to spend the next few days surrounded by attorneys giving depositions in his legal battle with Twitter. That deposition won't be public and could last until Wednesday. Now, Musk will testify about his bid to buy Twitter and why he's trying to get out of that deal. The social media site is suing him to force him to live up to his offer of $44 billion. The trial in the case set to start October 17th. The battle for your holiday shopping dollars is really kicking off very early and it looks like it will be pretty intense. Amazon just upped the ante with a new announcement. The online retailer will host a prime early access sale on October 11th and 12th. It's the first time Amazon has held two Prime Day live events in the same year. It's only open to Amazon Prime subscribers. The company says it will feature hundreds of thousands of deals. Now remember to shop around because other retailers are dropping prices early as well. We told you last week Walmart is also planning discounts and deals next month and Target is holding a deal days on October 6th days before the Amazon event. Plus Target's offering that price matching from October 6th through Christmas Eve. Well, you might remember Edward Snowden. He officially became a Russian citizen today. President Vladimir Putin signed a decree that turned 75 foreign nationals into full-fledged citizens. Snowden was once a contractor for the NSA and admitted to leaking information about American surveillance programs to the press. He's been living in Russia since 2013 and has now renounced his U.S. citizenship. The world's first all-electric ferry has arrived in Shanghai, China. We're going to talk about some of the cool things that it can do. So the zero-emission boat can carry about 30 private cars and 165 passengers at the same time. It reportedly doesn't make any noise, is fully automated, and can sail for one hour on a 15-minute charge. The ship will reportedly save about 500 tons of fuel each year. It will be put into operation at the end of October after it is officially commissioned.